Hi, good evening everyone. So, excuse my croaky voice, I've got the cold. Um, so our rolling training for 2016 has come to an end and we wanted to keep a bit of momentum going for our Sunday evenings from 8 till 9 at hour in the office. We're going to be recommencing the rolling training in January but through December we just wanted to give you some kind of bite-sized chunks of information that will keep the ball rolling and kind of give you some food for thought and hopefully some ideas to keep you motivated through December. So I was going to do this as a Facebook Live, but then I realised that not everyone's on Sunshine page, so I needed to do it as a um, pre-recorded video. So excuse my voice, as I said. So what I'd like to just talk about quite quickly, really, this evening is about getting organised. Because people quite often ask me, you know, how do you organise your time? Um, you know, I've got, um, I, I do forever part-time. I've got um, a full-time part-time job, which is hairdressing, and I've got two small children. And I don't have a maid, so I have to fit forever in, as a lot of you do, around my current commitments. So people ask me, you know, how do you get organised? And then what is it you actually do when you're sitting down to work on your business? You know, what are the case credit producing, case credit producing activities that you do? So I just wanted to share a couple of insights into this, into what I do and how I got organised, which I think has really changed my business um, and the way that I work now. And I feel it's a lot more productive and I get a lot more stuff done. So the first thing that I did really for me to get organised was in um, January this year I know December last year I kind of felt like I was really like on that kind of hamster wheel I just I was just like willy nilly doing stuff I was busy with work I didn't I wasn't looking after myself I just felt like everything was going out of control and that was last December so come January I was like you know I need to get control back of my life here I need to kind of be a bit more organised, have a bit more structure. I know sometimes when you're kind of working for yourself or working from home, it's really easy to be distracted. Now I do hairdressing from home as well as forever, so I really have to be disciplined with myself. So the game changed for me, and this isn't groundbreaking, but it is that I got a diary. Now this is my diary for 2017. These are from Paper Chase, and it's 215 dirhams, and I absolutely love it. And the reason I love it I know you can probably find a prettier one or a smaller one, but I think the size is actually brilliant because you've got the whole week stretched over um, two pages and each day is broken down into hour size chunks. So you can literally plan your day hour by hour. So that's my one for 2017. So um, this year, let's have a, just to show you an example. Okay, so what I do, it's very simple, is I basically colour code it. So I make sure that I put in, you've basically always got your non-negotiables, okay? So you've got, you know, your job, your children, school run, pick up, those kind of things. They're non-negotiable. So you need to make sure that they go in the diary first because they're things that you've got to do. Then the other really, really important thing you need to do is you need to make sure you schedule in the diary some new time. So... I make sure every day if I can, I'll schedule in half an hour to an hour now. This is when I can work on my mindset. Now whether that's going to the gym, going for a walk, or just having half an hour to myself, I make sure that it's in the diary. Because you know what? If it's in the diary, then you're going to stick to it. And you know you've got nothing else to do in that time. Because especially, you know, being busy, being a mum, you know, having other commitments, it's really easy to put yourself last but you know if you're not feeling good then the whole world can fall apart around you you know you need to make sure that you take time for yourself so that you can feel energized and you can feel in control of the day so you book in your work you pick up all your non-negotiable stuff book in some new time um then you can see what pockets of time you've got to fit your forever business in now depending if you're doing forever full-time or part-time you fit that in accordingly because if it's in the diary, you're going to do it. Now, of course, you're going to put in things like the business presentation, um, put baskets, one-to-ones, planning meetings, all those things will get scheduled in. But you know what? Sometimes you might just have an hour in between pickups or an hour in between whatever you're doing that you can book forever into. Now, do this at the start of the week. So when you look through your diary, you can see how much time you've got to get things done. So obviously... Um, if I had a one-to-one -one or a planning meeting, that's self-explanatory. But what do I do when I've got an hour at home that I'm going to work on my business? Well, what I will do, the first thing is, I always have my one-to-seven list. Now, this is just brilliant. And again, it's, it's not rocket science, but it's just about writing a list. But it's one-to-seven. So you're not bombarding yourself with 20 things on a bit of paper. One-to-seven. If it's less than seven, maybe I'll add to it through the day. If there's more, if I don't end up doing those tasks... 
I can roll them over to the next day. Now on here, for example, today I have, uh, I need to do recognition for a team member that's absolutely smashing it. I need to follow up my pup customers. I've had massive success with my pup baskets. I've got two baskets out at the minute. I need to follow up how they're going and one of them I need to find out when I'm going to pick that back up. I need to make sure I get all the planning meetings booked in for December. And I also, um, it's the beginning of the month, I've got an order for probably about two case credits, but I really, really like to do my four case credits in the first week of the month, and I always try and do that. Um, so I will, the end of the month and the beginning of the month, I'll do quite a lot of posts on my product business page. When I do my posts, I always, I never do generic posts, ever. I'll always do like a video, or I'll try and put a little bit of a different twist, obviously keeping it compliant about the products. And I'll normally do a big push for that at the end of the month or the very beginning of the month. Because, you know, even if customers don't buy that product, it's going to jog the memory of other products that they might have wanted to try. And it's just going to put, you know, on, in the forefront of their minds. And they're for customers that you've perhaps not followed up with, you know, that are just going to see it on Facebook. So I'll always make a really big push to do that at the end of the month and the beginning of the month so that I can get my four case credits done. Because, you know, if you've done your four case credits in the first week of the month, you just feel so much more in control of your business. Because anyone you recruit, any other sales that you get, which you're always going to get... You're going to end up doing a lot more so you know you don't have that desperation you're not scurrying around at the end of the month trying to follow up customers to get your 4k credits done it's done in the first week makes you feel so much bit better makes you feel proud your whole like posture changes because you just feel like you know what yeah i've done my 4k credits so anything else is a bonus you know you've made a couple of thousand dirhams profit on that retail so anything else i do any products i now buy for my personal use is on top it's an added bonus that for so i always make sure that i do that at the beginning of the month um what else do i do oh i've just on here i've got i've got my um i need to do a product demonstration for my sister-in-law that's here so things like that that i just need to do and make sure that i do that today so in my power hour i may work through that list some of those things are things that i can actually tick off without having to really think about them too much so depending where, where i stand with that but what I then do for my power hour where I really want to do case um, credit producing activity is I make sure I've got no distractions. Now, depending on what I'm going to do, it could be that I put my phone onto aeroplane mode or if I need to be on, um, on the internet, then I obviously don't do that. But I make sure that I don't have any distractions around me so that I can kind of concentrate and get the job done. Now, our business is all about showing people the business and showing people the products. So the most important thing that you can do in that time is contact people. Now, whether it's contacting people about the business or contacting people about the products or a bit of both, I will go through, um, I will go through, um, I've got a pipeline of people that I'm talking to about the business. I will check in on that, see when I last spoke to them. For example, I've got one lady that um, I was talking to I, about, the last time I was in touch with her was about four weeks ago. Um, so now it's about time that I got back in touch with her. And you know what? It's so easy now because it's Christmas. So you can say, are you here for Christmas? What are your plans? Have you done all your Christmas shopping? Oh, I see. I see on Facebook you're going home. How exciting. How are you going? It'll be really nice to catch up when you get back to hear how it was. However, you would normally be in contact with those people is how you need to be in contact with them. So whether you would normally ring them or it's WhatsApp or it's Facebook Messenger, you do how you'd normally contact them. If you've got anyone that's at the next stage of the business cycle, then in this hour would be a really good time to send out your five minute videos, send out your um, recorded BPs or, or arrange a time with them when they're going to come with you to the BP at TCOM or in Abu Dhabi, depending where you are. Um, so these are all case credit producing activities. Now, honestly, for me, I'm more about my customers because I find that mostly it's my customers, people that love the products that join my team. So I will spend a lot of that time following up with my customers, people that have bought from me, um, following up leads to find new customers, um, and just really getting in contact and showing people whether it's the business or the products. Um, what else do I do in that hour? In this hour, I don't go on Facebook because it's very, very easy. As much as Facebook's an amazing tool, it's really, really easy to get distracted by Facebook. So I make sure that I'm just doing my contacting. My one to seven list, I'm a contact him. And that is what I would do in my kind of power hour. Now, additionally to that is my kind of Facebook social media time. What I will do then is on Facebook, I will obviously check in on the team page. I will answer any questions I've been asked. I'll do any recognition posts. What I also make sure that I do is I go through Facebook and look for any leads. You know, has anyone asked any questions saying like, 
oh, can anyone recommend anything for dry skin on the feet, which is something I saw the other day, and you know, you could maybe go on there and say, yeah, the deodorant, follow up those type of things, look for any leads. Another really, really important thing to do is to like other FBO's posts. Now, a few months ago, well, probably six months, a year ago, we were kind of quite conscious of not doing that. And the reason we didn't do that is because we thought by us liking other FBO's posts, we are signposting them to that other FBO. But you know what? That's not the case. If someone wants to join your business or buy products from you, they're going to buy products from you because of you. It doesn't matter that you've liked so-and-so's posts on, I don't know, the deodorant or whatever, they're still going to want to join or buy products from you. But what it does do is it shows people what an amazing team we are. And I think one of the strongest selling points that Forever has is how well we work together as a team. And I think especially like us guys, like really cross line, up line, down line, we work together so, so well. And that is a major factor for a lot of people when they're looking at the business you know we've got that support we work so well as a team and we've got each other's backs you know if there's anything on social media we're there helping supporting each other and encouraging each other because you know we generally do work really really well together so by us liking each other's posts if someone's talked about the business or the product it's going to make that person feel good and it's also going to showcase to other people how well we work together as a team and it's also going to show people and um, you know how exciting it's going to create that buzz it's going to kind of make everyone it's going to put forever living into people's news feeds on facebook it's going to bring it to the forefront forefront of people's minds so make sure you're doing that like at least five other fbo's um posts on facebook every day that's something that i've started doing i think it makes a really really big difference um, oh my goodness, I'm going to have to stop talking because my throat is absolutely killing me. But I hope that's kind of helped somehow. So I think if you take anything away from this, it's like get your diary, get organised, get your highlighter pens, schedule in you time, make sure you're scheduling in time for your business. Remember, if you're treating this like a job, it will pay like a job. If you're treating it like a hobby, you're going to pay out for it like you would for a hobby. So make sure you're your own boss, be strict with yourself and book that time in. <coughs> excuse me, every night, make sure you write your one to seven list so that you can tip that off be the day because there's no better feeling in the world than getting the jobs done. And um, what well, I was going to say, yeah, just make sure that you're organised and really treat this as a business. I hope that's helped a little bit. I hope someone's got something else there. And sorry about my croaky voice again. And uh, any questions, if there's any questions, I know it's self-explanatory, but pop them below and then I'll, I can get back to you. Um, I hope that's helped a little bit and I'll see you all soon. Bye.